You know why Barfy would have made a good bartender? Why? He ran beer. Ran beer? What the? <laughs> <laughs> hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions video. I'm Corbin. I'm Rick. And you follow something Instagram, Instagram and Twitter. Juicy Twitter. It's so Thanks on Patreon. Juicy, Lord, but account juicy content. Bang! Bang! Follow us on our personal YouTube channel. Links in the description below. Today we're doing some stand up. It's an all new one, dropped a few days ago uh, by Veer. Thus. I was hoping we'd get to this because we got a lot of peeps saying you're gonna love this. You got to react to this. This is called religion versus comedy. <laughs> religion versus comedy. That's what it says. Religion versus comedy. Excellent. Um, uh, I love it because anytime you bring religion politics, you're going. You're gonna, you're gonna offend, offend people, people, which I love. Yeah, I love offending people. Uh, <laughs> that's my favorite. <laughs> Share that as sure. I love offending people. You should. Um. But uh, obviously, I, I'm, I'm waiting a few days for this to drop. I will leave his link in the description below. Go watch his link and then come back and see our reaction afterwards. Yeah. Uh, obviously, just support the man and support uh, support his YouTube channel. Subscribe to his YouTube channel if you have not. Uh, he's a very and his funny. Instagram. Yes. Uh, obviously, we love him. He is our best friend. It might be and it might be one way, but he is our best friend. <laughs> well, and we we are waiting. It was his invitation mm -hmm. that when he's ever here. And COVID's over, mm -hmm. it's time for beer. Well, so we're holding you to that, man. 100%. Uh, <laughs> beer All right. Dog. Beer dog. So great penis. Red lip. <laughs> Where did that come from? No, it was our, it was our second interview with him. We talked about his penis. Oh, that's right. That's right. I mean, you would remember that. Beer dog's penis, of course. <laughs> Here we go. Many, many people over a long period of time have been telling me the same thing as a comedian. Me? You will not have a career in India until you start doing relatable material. And that's what I'm going to do tonight. I'm going to do material that you can relate to and that you recognize in comfort. Are you ready, yeah? Yeah! yeah. Let's talk about religion now. Um... <laughs> I love that they're outside. Probably say something at the end of this. He'll probably bring it up. So, let's see. Do you know how sad it is that we have to hide in a forest to have this conversation? <laughs> This is how cults get started. <laughs> I'm your ma, Anand Sheila right now. <laughs> if you do this three times, I'll either be enlightening you or fucking you. <laughs> That's a great documentary, by the way. I don't believe in ritual or religion because I believe in God. Much like I don't believe in bungee jumping or skydiving because I believe in gravity. <laughs> <laughs> so what does that make me, people of the forest? It makes me a man with lots of belief but zero faith. And that's okay, is it not? Yes. You can believe in someone that you have zero faith in, it's called marriage. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no. oh God. On the flip side, you can have a lot of faith in something you know isn't true, it's called journalism. <laughs> <laughs> so I believe no. in a higher power. I pray for that joke. higher power every night. I just do not believe that it is a religious higher power. In my mind, it is a female higher power. Yes. Thank you, man. Uh, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> I wrote the next joke. You're not going to like it. <laughs> the reason that I believe that God is a woman is because she never fucking listens to me. <laughs> Christianity 
Joe. And she dated all these multiple prophets and eventually married a Hindu guy and started a family. That's how we got 5,000 gods, alright? It's a joint family. No other god has a family. Who, who, who is Mrs. Allah? Did you know you ever heard of Jesus' uncle, Suresh Christ? No. That's what it is in India. We're just worshipping a joint family. That's it. Which makes no sense. Because we don't get anything in return. In real life, if you worship a joint family, you can get like aviation contracts, railway contracts, uh -oh. electricity. Wow. That's funny. People know how uncomfortable you are right now. <laughs> Every time I do a joke about religion, people are like, Veer, but why must you joke about religion? There are so many other wholesome and relatable topics that you can use to make other people laugh. My Gujarati uncle, man, fuck your Gujarati uncle. <laughs> Your Gujarati uncle. I just spent eight months indoors without a microphone. I just got it back. You didn't want to waste it on your Gujarati uncle. <laughs> the reason why I can't do all the jokes in my head is because all of us are collectively worshipping our Gujarati uncle, alright? <laughs> and anyone I do these jokes, people are like, we don't talk about my faith. It ain't your faith. It's faith. We don't talk about my God. Not your God. Doesn't belong to you. If you keep walking around going, hey man, don't talk about my girlfriend, I'll kick your ass. You don't talk about my girlfriend, I'll kick your ass. But there are billions of guys saying the same thing about the same girl. She's not your girlfriend. <laughs> so let's call it out. If you are offended by religious jokes, you are a human being. If you are avenging religious jokes, you are a fundamentalist. And does God need fundamentalists? Really, he needs you. You're the first line of defense. <laughs> you're the class monitor that God was counting on this whole time. He needs fundamental. Do you know what would happen if you went up to Muslim heaven and you're like, I beheaded 60 people because they drew a cartoon of you? Do you know the first thing God would ask? He'd be like, what is a cartoon? <laughs> he doesn't know. Did you forget that God made you and then you made all this other shit? So now, like, you explain Zoom calls to your dad. <laughs> you have to explain cartoons to God. It would take forever and you would lose your patience six times. Like, uh, okay, so uh, cartoon, yes. Um, so they, there's this guy, Walt Disney, and uh, he drew like a mouse. And uh, the entire world, they watch this one mouse. But why? There are so many mice. <laughs> and a billion of mice is just... It feels like there is a systemic instability in the amount of attention you are giving a mouse. <laughs> yeah, this is not where I was expecting this conversation to go, honestly. I just beheaded a bunch of people, so... I don't know if I'm the guy to talk about instability so much, or... I said, no, I know, I know you're not the guy, I'm just saying there are many mouse. All mouse matter. Yes, yes, I know, all mouse matter, it's just all heads don't matter, you know. <laughs> It's really not that big a deal, alright? You drew a mouse on a piece of paper and it moved like magic for kids. You are giving Hafim to kids? <laughs> oh God, it's not Hafim. Look, it's, it's just, you know, there was a magazine, that cartoon, we all got upset. No, no, I understand, I understand. It's good. What is a magazine? <laughs> Come on, look, the magazine is just, uh, you know, a book with picture in it. A uh, picture of a mouse. Not every book has a picture. Look, I have to pray five times today, all right? Five times. <laughs> Can we speed this up? Oh, you have to pray five times today, huh? Well, I'm so sorry. You know, there are one point, point, one point eight billion of you, 50% of you devout. That's 900 million people praying five times a day. I listen to 4.5 billion prayers a day. But please, tell me more about how busy you are. <laughs> Right, so cartoons. Oh. We have all these organizations under the same evil umbrella, right? You've got Al-Qaeda, you've got the Taliban, you've got lashkar e toiba you've got Al-Shabaab, which let's be honest, sounds like a place you go to get food after clubbing. <laughs> Does it? Like, hey man, go to Al-Shabaab. And it's crazy, and they all operate under this one structure. How do you hate cartoons but then replicate Disney's corporate structure exactly? <laughs> Jesus Christ. You know, if you went up to Jesus, if Christian missionaries went up to Jesus Christ and they were like, hey, we went to all these other countries and we beat the shit out of them and now they believe in me. He'd be like, hey man, I never asked you to do that. I don't speak their language. I don't understand what these white people are saying. Oh, did we forget that Jesus was Middle Eastern, huh? Did you forget that Jesus was brown? Jesus was walking down the street in New York City, at least five people would be like, get out of my way, Abdul. I'm 
and one of them would be named Abdul. <laughs> and yet Americans put stickers on their car that say, what would Jesus do? Have you seen those stickers? Uh -huh. Yeah, you know what Jesus would Bracelet. do in America? He'd get pulled over by the cops every day. Straight up. And they justify their own actions. Jesus would want you to vote for Donald Trump. <laughs> That's what Jesus would do. You know what? <laughs> you know <laughs> Donald Trump, he'd turn him into bread. <laughs> Don't you ever watch Donald Trump and just get hungry? <laughs> he's like, the election was stolen, we have to stop the steal. And you're like, yeah, I'm just going to make a sandwich. It's fine. <laughs> Jesus would want you to have an AK-47. Do you know what Jesus would do if he saw an AK-47? He'd turn it into bread. <laughs> That's largely what Jesus did. <laughs> he just like walked on water and turned shit into food. <laughs> He's just like a really brilliant alchemist who sometimes dabbled in tea. It's not that impressive turning water into wine or rocks into. I know kids in China. You give them one piece of metal, they'll give you an iPhone in 20 minutes. And I'm not comparing Jesus to an iPhone because an iPhone has been resurrected way more times. People, do you know you went up to Hindu gods and you were like, We broke down a comedy club because they did jokes about you. Do you know what they'd ask? They'd be like, What's a comedy club? <laughs> they don't know. Now you'd have to explain. You'd have to be like, Yeah, it's uh, this place where we we all get together and laugh. Oh, so like temple. <laughs> no, 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 we, we don't laugh in temple. Oh, yeah, sorry, I forgot. We laugh at you in temple. <laughs> They're also desperate. Why is You think Hindu gods are impressed with you? Do you? Honestly, My I think they are. Just by what you drink. I think Hindu gods are looking down at a cow like they drank what? <laughs> they drank the piss? That's the wrong hole? <laughs> Were they lost? <laughs> Context for those of you that are watching from outside the country, sometimes some Hindus will drink the piss of a cow because they believe that it has medicinal properties. Shall I be honest with you? I tried it. Yeah. Just to write this joke, I tried it. And it didn't taste that bad. I just had like logistical questions. Are there mutra experts? <laughs> there are wine experts, aren't they? You give them a glass of wine, random wine, and they're like, it's got a fine nose. And it's from the Bojo region. There's a hint of lavender and cinnamon. Are there guys in India you just hand them a random glass of piss? They're like, the cow was happy. <laughs> he was from Noida. I don't know. <laughs> but some people will drink Gamutra, the piss of a cow, because they believe it cures cancer. And I said, you do you. Well done. And by the way, <laughs> by the way, in your face, Jesus. <laughs> Why we turn piss into chemotherapy? Right? <laughs> and these jokes upset people because we worship the cow in India, right? In India, we will lynch a Muslim family for eating beef and then we'll travel abroad where there's a McDonald's on every single corner <laughs> eating Indian cows. Do you know that India is the third largest exporter of beef in the world? Do you know if you went to the White House, they would serve you your God back to you? <laughs> oh I'm sorry, it is just so fucking hypocritical that an entire saffron religion is trumped by the aspiration of a green card. Oh. And let's sit in this silence for a second. Just gonna let him sit. Let's, if your faith is so rattled by yes. a joke, yes. is it really that strong? Yes. You believe in your God? You worship your God? Leave my jokes alone. Mm. That's it. Your God can take it. <laughs> you think your God can't take it? I promise you he can. Your God made the moon, the sun, the earth, the wind and the fire. You think he doesn't have a sense of humor? He made you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that man. It's over? I love that man. So goddamn funny, pun intended. Yes, very, <laughs> very funny and unafraid but, but, to point out. You know, the thing about it is just the he said the word. It's the hypocrisy. Yeah, 
It's the hypocrisy that needs to be called out. And absolutely. Of every religion. You get, ev and not just the hypocrisy of it, but like, yeah, could you say things about Jesus that I would be offended by? Of course. If you lied, if you said stuff that wasn't true, that would bother me. Mm -hmm. But if you're going to say other, there was nothing in that that I, I found to be offensive that would make me, and there are literally people who will hear jokes like this and say that he needs to be stopped and shut down. Oh, I guarantee they'll be uh, in the comments. Oh yeah. That there are, how dare you? I mean, you can't, there are literally people who have died because they put in an editorial cartoon of Muhammad in a newspaper. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, and I'm sure there'll be a bunch in the comments of this, of this video. There uh, will be. As well. I've never, I have, uh, I have an interesting relationship with religion. I don't mind actual the religion, God himself or herself or whomever. Um, it's the people that either teach it or follow it that I have a huge problem with. Well, uh, and it's the, it, it's like, it's funny. Of all religions. Yeah, say, people <laughs> say this all the time, like news flashes that pertains to like Christianity. Jesus didn't come to start a religion. Yeah. The word Christianity wasn't even coined by believers. That was a negative epithet given to them in the church in Antioch. Yep. And they're like, oh, that's kind of cool. She's but making fun of us as being Christ followers. Let's let's keep that tag. Jesus actually he came to he, he came to obliterate religion. Yeah, yeah. yeah. To, to that religion was the thing <laughs> separating people from God. Yeah, a hundred percent. It's usually the, the people that always mess it up. But I love always Virdas um, doing stuff like this because I, I love that sentiment at the end. I've, I it I it's been very difficult for me to be offended by almost anything. I'm. I'm not an easily offended person. I, I I think you should be allowed to joke about everything uh, under the sun. Sure. <laughs> I absolutely do, especially if you're a now, comedian. I may I may be made uncomfortable by it. I may hear it and go, oh no, you didn't just do that. Like every single Sasha Baron Cohen film I've ever loved. Um, but do you, to, to ask whether or not you have the right to tell a joke about something mm -hmm. is, Really absurd to me. Yeah, it's, it's always been strange to me, especially about religion of, of any. Of, of Obviously, the, the one I'm most familiar with is Christianity and the yeah. people that are very fragile in that. It's, there's a ton of them. But then I've been experienced uh, with India now. There's obviously a ton in the Hindu religion. There's a ton in, no. in, in the, in the uh, Muslim and religion. And for the one most closely, you know, for, for me, though I've, I've examined and looked at the myriads of them and even taught about them, but for me personally... Um, a lot of the jokes and the hypocrisy that's found when you talk about the history of Christianity is a hundred percent accurate. Mm -hmm. And just people, I guess, you know, they just don't, it's, it's just astonishing how people, like he said, it's like your, your God can handle it. Yeah. Like if God couldn't handle it, uh, what that line I've heard many times is you think you are the first line of defense for God. Yeah. Like, God needs you to defend God. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty sure he called on you to love people. Yeah. I'm pretty, sure, I'm pretty sure that was how, I believe there was a line in the Bible that said, how will he know us? Oh. I believe it was by, by their, their love. love. And which law is not, the one not, that... Not by berating and yelling at people of defending the Bible. <laughs> Or no, like, whatever religion you are you are talking about. No, and it's like I just I just I I've seen enough stories to know about what comedians are facing and people in general are facing, where they're told you can't you can't say that. Well, like he said that someone said a joke about a cow, mm -hmm. and then they kill someone for eating a cow, but in in they're the third biggest exporter of cow. Mm -hmm. That level of commentary to point out the hypocrisy is it, the bottom line is if you don't like that mm -hmm. then don't listen you know mm -hmm. but uh and i could count on a million people's fingers how much hypocrisy there is in the christianity religion 100 <laughs> there's probably well i know here in the united states there isn't a belief system i've encountered that is more rampant with hypocrisy than christianity yeah no question. Nothing is even a close second yep. in America. Yeah. So, um, so yeah. 
But I love him. I love that he he always brings it back to an important message in all of his sets. Uh, also, like he's released so much in this thing. He's like done, he's kept how much so busy? He, how much content? Like normal people like refine a set, and that's the set they've been working on for a long time. He just comes out with something new. That's his. That's his thing. He's like I could just talk about something for a long, long time. Yeah. Any subject, yeah. and I can always bring it back to an intelligent point at the end. Yep. Yeah. He's phenomenal. A lot of fun. Uh, go sub oh, obviously support him. Go if he's doing shows now. Go go watch his shows. Uh, go subscribe to his channel for the link in the description below. And if you find his comedy offensive, you're welcome. Yeah, I'm sure. That anything I'm sure. we can do to hear? Anything we can do to help? I'm sure I'll be blocking a bunch of you. It'll be fun. <laughs> Don't <laughs> <laughs>